Today we are discussing all things about heart health and like Dr. Coley says, what you eat matters. So we are breaking it down with her and nutritionist Christina Jordan. Christina, welcome back, great to see you. Thank you, excited to be here with you guys. Yeah, so let's get to it. When it comes to nutrition, you're not only a medical professional, you're also a heart health success story. So what inspired yeah. you to lose 134 pounds? I think it was definitely getting diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, having issues with my thyroid, having issues with my hormones, and just really becoming a mom and seeing how what I do affects my kids. So that definitely, my children are definitely my inspiration here. And the fact that it would sure be nice to be able to, you know, run on the beach and, and ride my bike and cross my legs, you know, simple things like that are also a wonderful side effect to all of this as well. So Christina, you recommend walking after every meal. That's three times a day for some people. What, what does that do for you? Well, for me, it definitely helps with stabilizing my insulin, making sure that my body is also um, be able to detox and digest my food, but also it keeps me from making uh, choices that maybe I wouldn't want to make after that meal, like sitting on the couch and just getting some movement in. We, we walk every single night. In fact, we walked last night after dinner and it was raining. We walk in the rain, we walk in the cold, we walk in the heat, we walk every single day, no matter what. You're like a mailman. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, Dr. Coley, I wanna get you in on this because you recommend the Mediterranean diet and the DASH diet for heart health. Can you explain why? Yeah, this we sort of stumbled on by accident. People who live near the Mediterranean, you know, in that region, they live much longer. They have better heart health and it's because of what they eat. So these two diets are actually endorsed by the American Heart Association to reduce cholesterol, reduce blood pressure, and reduce our risk of heart disease. And it's simple, limiting your sodium, filling every plate to have half fruits or vegetables, a quarter lean protein, chicken or fish or tofu, if you're plant-based, and a quarter whole grain. And if you enrich your diet with legumes and and healthy oils like olive oils, you can really make an impact. So what we eat determines how we feel and, and what diseases we get. Thanks, Doc. I mean, we, you know, we're lucky to have two experts here. So I wanna know, how can we talk to a loved one that might be overweight and at risk of heart disease? What would you say to them, Christina? I would definitely, I, I would let them approach you with that. For me, I wasn't ready until I was ready. You know, uh, I think that sometimes it takes hitting a lower point to finally be able to make that lifestyle change because it can't be just another diet. It has to be a true lifestyle change. And sometimes it takes hitting that point in your journey where you need to change. And I think letting them approach you is, is, is a good way, but also just being the example. I've seen my own son, my husband, my mom, my family follow me because I first led the way. So uh, honestly, if you want someone to change, you gotta lead You gotta lead first and you need to start making those healthy changes and actions first. Modeling, it's so powerful. What would you, what would you add to that, Dr. Cooley? Uh, you know, I would say we make it about their health and not about their weight. So you don't say I'm worried right. about your weight, you say I'm worried about your heart health and I want you to get healthier uh, with your cholesterol and your blood pressure and all of those. And by depersonalizing it that way, you make it a little less attacking their weight and talking more about just how to be healthy. That was really, that's a great way to go into it. Great I advice, that. I know, from both of you. We so, uh, so good seeing you, Christina. Yes. DBL Nation. It's good to see you guys. I know, and congratulations on all your success. Uh, visit Thank Fit you. Body Weight Loss. Um, if, sorry, I just want to make sure I get it back. Let's make sure the prompter, fitbodyweightloss.com for more information about Christina's nutritional products and services. Thank you again, Christina. Thanks.